Hello, dear ones. How are you? Today is day 10 following my labiaplasty. And um, it's, I'm going to run through it quickly just because there has been a whole lot happening. Um, healing continues, but the pain has been really still pretty bad today. Um, I'm not able to get any more refills on Oxy, so they have switched me to using gabapentin, which um, is fine. Hopefully that works. I have really found the most discomfort comes from sitting. Um, if I'm lying down, it's not so bad. And um, I continue to take uh, as much ibuprofen as I'm allowed. So there's that, um, in addition to the gabapentin. I spent a fair amount of my time today um, completely undressed, which actually was was quite good. Um, spent a couple of hours, um, yeah, not wearing anything, just keeping my legs spread and letting it all be open. And then I spent about... Um, then I dilated for about 20 minutes. Um, I'm back to using the largest dilator because it's really not a problem. Um, I spent a f and then I spent another couple of hours just unclothed and it's so much more comfortable. Um, even though the doctor said <clears throat> to wear, um, to keep wearing the compressive garment to reduce swelling, which is supposedly going to reduce pain. In my experience, that was not the case. Um, but, you know, everybody's different. Your mileage may vary. Uh, I spent a fair amount of time writing a letter to the doctor about all the ways I was upset and how this could perhaps be avoided for future patients and um, I think I'm gonna go back through it and rewrite it in probably bullet points so I can just go over them all with him at my next meeting and I'm also gonna turn this into another video about how to work successfully with a plastic surgeon or probably any surgeon but especially a plastic surgeon um, briefly those points are research your surgeon very well and make sure you are confident in their skills. Discuss all the details with the surgeon beforehand. Um, I thought I did, but there definitely wasn't enough communication going on and I wasn't receiving enough feedback. Um, even though it says I was told all these things in our meetings, on the records, that was not the case. And um, make your doctor present to you a plan of surgery wherein they detail out every single part of the surgery, what the final ending point is going to be, and that you are both um, in agreement on what that ending point is going to be. Because it's just so important to Make sure that if you are going to go through all of the pain and suffering caused by plastic surgery, that you receive an outcome that you are happy with and that doesn't damage your nervous system in any way permanently and doesn't require an additional surgery to get the result that you want. It's a really difficult way to find out what you don't want is to have to go through a surgery for the first time. And I'm sure this has happened for way too many people, but that's that's the difficulty of communicating about this sort of thing. So look for that video in the future. I've been spending a lot of time in bed sleeping. Um, I've probably slept about 16 hours today, and um, I'm going back to work tomorrow, and I'm not looking forward to that at all, especially because it requires a lot of sitting, but um, I'm going to try and limit the amount of sitting I actually do to make sure it's a little bit more 
endurable. And with that, I bid you adieu. May you have the best experiences with plastic surgeons possible. May you never be upset by the outcome. May you have the perfect communication possible with every person you ever work with, plastic surgeons included. I love you. Aloha.